Now, Paul Burling, the impressionist from Bradley Stoke, and Paul Potts, the opera singer from Bristol, are the West's best-known finalists in Britain's Got Talent, but they could soon be joined by a painting donkey. It's true. Uh, Patty, who has been trained at Horse World in Bristol, will appear on the new series that starts on Saturday, and Tamsin Eames has been to meet her. Well, you've heard of Picasso, you've heard of Leonardo da Vinci, but how about Patty the donkey? Well, I'm sure you'll hear about her soon. This beautiful farmyard animal is soon to be one of the weird and wonderful acts to appear in front of Simon Cowell and the judges on this series of Britain's Got Talent. So when this nine-year-old isn't enjoying the great outdoors, she likes to spend her time creating masterpieces with a paintbrush. Well, I'm joined now by v uh, Patty's trainer, Vicky Greenslade. So, Vicky, how did you first find out that Patty had this hidden talent? Uh, well, basically, we were doing clicker training with her anyway, which is a method of training that we use here at Horse World. Um, and I found out quite quickly that she was quite interested in picking up objects and picking up things. First of all taught her to pick up the paintbrush which took me two sessions of 20 minutes um, and then started to just add it from there and build up to get her to actually paint onto the canvas. She's had quite a lot of interest in her pieces hasn't she? She has had quite a lot of interest. We actually started selling her paintings on Horse World's website and most of them went to people in either America or Canada. We sold about 10 um, at about £60 each so all of the profit goes straight back into Horse World and, and so that we can use it um, for the animals that we have here. Fantastic. So it sounds as if overseas are impressed with her work, but how about those judges? Well, earlier I spoke to Jerry Watkins, who appeared alongside her on the show. She was a star. She really was. We took a couple of her pals along as well, who were just off stage, um, just to give her a little bit of support. Uh, and they watched the whole proceedings with great interest, and Patty was wonderfully behaved. Well, Jerry can't give away too many details yet, so we'll have to wait to find out how Patty gets on when the series kicks off this weekend. I'm sure she'll be up against some tough competition. I'm sure everyone here in Bristol will have their fingers and hooves crossed for her. I'm sure they will. You can see more on Patty the Painting Donkey on our website. The address on the screen for you now.